we read some European Enlightenment philosophers and the narratives of modernity that they present, but we also thought about how those narratives don't include the perspectives of Latin Americans and especially indigenous Latin Americans. So we also wanted to read Latin American theorists in the class that helped us think about the world and the modern world from the standpoint of people who have been colonized. The Zapatistas took their inspiration and their name from the Mexican peasant leader Emiliano Zapata. And in the 1800s, there were large state owners who were pushing the indigenous people off the land or using them as a source of very cheap labor on the estates. And he was concerned that these indigenous people who worked the land should have access to the land. <laughs> When we were there, we were confined to a caracol, which, it, which in Spanish means shell. And that's like the protective unit where the outside world gets to meet the inside of the Zapatistas. You don't really get to leave um, that area. It was important to study the Zapatistas because they are a totally autonomous community and they are completely different from what we know as um, civilization and what we consider the globalized world. Um, they're completely separate from that. They don't use a system of capitalism. They, um, they just have their own way of doing things. In the jungle with like the temperature and um, all the insects and animals that live in the area, you don't want to sleep in a bed because you'll get bed bugs very easily. And then also there's a lot of insects. So the safest way to sleep is in a hammock. Um, and then we also bathed in the river because they, they don't really have like a water system that is wasteful, like the types of water systems that we use for a bath or a shower here. So we went in the river, which was also really refreshing. And we went at the same time every day. And so that was our favorite part of the day was to go to the river. And I don't know, you just use biodegradable shampoo and you lather up and that's what we did. <laughs> I think as the days went on, students really enjoyed making connections with the people there. Even the students who didn't speak Spanish were really good just using a few simple words to communicate with the kids. And it was really exciting for all of us to see that you know, even though we were going to a very strange place, that we can make human connections with these people that we could learn a lot from them. They were interested in learning English, but they were also interested in teaching us Chil, the indigenous language. And students really enjoyed making those kinds of individual connections. The Palenque National Park is where the Mayan ruins are located. And so we went and basically just kind of looked at the ruins and looked at how the Mayan civilization was established. It was really interesting because there were, everything was laid out the same. It was kind of, I don't know, almost euphoric to be in one of these buildings and looking out and being so high above ground and looking out and being able to imagine exactly where the Mayan people were and exactly why things were in the positions that they were in. We were painting one of the buildings in the Caracol as a service project because they just wanted to liven up the color. When you walk into the Caracol, you see numerous murals around, and those are done by people who come in and want to you know, liven up the, the environment. 
And we also painted some of the red stars, which are symbolic um, to the Zapatistas because that's one of their Zapatista EZLN, which is their National Liberation Army. Fred and John are painting the stars red now, and they're using some really nice homemade paintbrushes. I'm trying to be really, really careful painting the star because these people have given us so much while we've been here, and basically all we've been able to give them back is a little bit of our food and painting this building. I feel really good about doing this for the Zapatistas because I feel like I got so much out of this trip and I learned so much and those people are so amazing that I feel like this is just a, a tiny thing that I can do to show my appreciation. I can't even begin to describe how much this course changed my outlook on everything. Because I just, before I took this course, I didn't have any idea that there was any alternate way of living out there. I thought that all that I'd been taught and all these enlightenment ideas that had been circulating around our education system, I thought that that was the only thing that existed. But by taking this course, it kind of opened my, opened my eyes to the fact that there are people out there who believe in an alternative paradigm of progress, like the Zapatistas. And it was just incredible to see these ideals of community and helping each other and good education and independence all put into practice every single day.